This episode of Local Film Talk was recorded in the Green Room at Natty Greens in downtown Raleigh. Perfect for business meetings or just joining friends to watch the big game, the Green Room is the ideal place to host your next event. To learn more, contact David Crack at 919-232-2477 or email david at nattygreens.com. We wanted to reclaim the money. We wanted to regain the power. Yeah, we didn't care if we started our journey in the tobacco field, as long as we ended up where we planned. Our journey had begun, and we were destined for the easy life. So, we're here in the green room at Natty Greens in downtown Raleigh. They agreed to let us uh, use this for our shoot, and we are talking to Spencer Fox, a local actor who is getting ready to launch a pretty ambitious project. Uh, of his own. Uh, you're doing a gangster, uh, almost uh, supernatural uh, gangster uh, web series uh, called EZ. So um, to just get a little background, uh, you're originally from California. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said earlier, I did a little Facebook stalking on you. You're from California. You moved, you ended up in the Raleigh area, I guess in the early to mid 90s. Yeah. What made you uh, decide to come out here to, uh, to North Carolina? I, as an actor, what makes you want to leave California to come to, to the Raleigh area? Well, it's just, I was living out, way out in the outskirts in Temecula. I was away from everything at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, pri the ho price of housing had dropped. Our house had dropped in value. Uh, there was no employment. Uh, the city at that time was staggering. There was really no growth because of the recession. And I think I just had enough of California. My wife is originally from Canada. And it, it, we just both got disgusted, and we knew we heard about North Carolina, and we packed up and came, and never looked back. And you like it here? I love it here. You gotten a, you've been in a lot of uh, different things, a lot of local productions, and a couple bigger ones. Um, you were telling me earlier you had a couple scenes in Iron Man Three. Yes. And uh, uh, one or two of them actually made it into the movie. What uh, what were those? Well, I did two of them. One of them didn't, but one did uh, when. Uh, Tony Stark comes out, and he's screaming young from the hospital, uh, you know, and he's, he's really mad at the Mandarin. I was one of the newscasters that was right there, scrunched up. But I got my two seconds of uh, fame. A lot of people saw me in there. Any speaking lines? No, no, I was just an extra. But I got to see Robert Downey Jr. Oh, nice. So that's, a, that's big. I mean, that's, that's about as big as it gets. Yeah. And I imagine with those shoots, there's just people everywhere, tons of lighting and sound equipment and people in golf carts. And what, what's shooting something like that like? Is it a lot it of It was unbelievable. Around? It was, it was wonderful. It's like being on Universal Studios, except you're in, the, you're in it. <laughs> you know, it was in Wilmington. It was at an airplane, uh, uh, an old airplane factory that they had there. And uh, they had it set up just like Universal Studios. They had all these lots of different sets. They had uh, the Roman's Chinese, Chinese Theater. They actually built it. Built it and blew it up. And they had his scene of Tony Stark's house sitting right on the lot there with green screens around it with things blown up. Really? Yeah. In Wilmington, holy yeah. cow. Yeah, we saw that, that was something. So you got to do some big stuff and you also do a lot of, a lot of smaller stuff, yes. a lot more involved things. Um, uh, I know I've seen you in Scorpion. Uh, we talked to Roger Paris about that in the last episode. You were one of the thugs who uh, took him on at the parking deck. Mr. Angel wanted us to let you know that he wasn't too happy that you busted one of his associates this morning when he was trying to do a little business with that old lady down there on Main Street. Yeah, and why should I give a f what he thinks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, that's not very nice. Look at this. Mr. Hotshot Detective wants to be a wise guy. I say we teach him a little respect. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, guys. I, I, I'm sorry, I got it all mixed up here. I, I don't mean any harm, man. Let's, let's just be friends. And I'm, I'm not looking for any trouble tonight. Don't, don't hurt me, man, please. Hey, Frankie, <laughs> looks like we got ourselves a cupcake over here. <laughs> yeah, a real fruity deck. Let's hurt him. So obviously, that's a much smaller set. Uh, did you have any lights for that one, or is it all just natural? Well, no, they did put some lighting out. Okay. So his crew had lighting. It was at night, and um, uh, Roger just uh, got us together, and we choreographed you know, how we're going to be beaten up. And of course, I got hit in the face 20 times before we got it right.
But it's not detailed, it's not a lot of rehearsal, it's more, you know, like you're saying, Roger says, uh, it'd be cool if uh, you punched me in the face, right? Oh yeah. And, uh, you know, not, not so much winging it, that's how people get hurt, but just more of a, a loose kind of, let's try this, let's see what happens kind of thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. And then later on, uh, you're in the next episode, we see you in Mr. Angel's office. Oh yeah. <laughs> Frankie, you don't look like you understand. Yes, boss. I do understand. I do. No, I don't think you do. Boys, take him down to the alligator pit. Feed him to the crocodiles. Oh, no. oh, no. Scorpion looked like it was a lot of fun to shoot. It was, especially when Don still had his um, hand being drilled into. Yeah. That was, that was, that, that would crack me up. Yeah, Roger runs a, runs a fun, uh, a fun uh, set. Yeah, he was a lot of fun to work for. Yeah. So, and unfortunately, I don't think your character's coming back. No, you know, we got eaten up by crocodiles. Unless I come back as a, you know, this monster. Zombie thug. From the dead. Yeah. Sewn together. So, I, I imagine you got, you probably learned something on just about everything you do. Okay. What, do what do you get out of, you know, especially now that you're trying to launch your own project? Like, take uh, Scorpion, for example. What kind of thing did you learn? Uh, you know, what kind of lessons did you get that you're able to apply getting into your own production? Oh, yeah. Well, Roger gave me my first line. Let him suck it, Vic. Where's my first line on a film? Yeah. So, yeah, that was it. And, you know, yeah, it was the first time I really, that was one of my first films uh, that I played as a gangster. And I met Don Sill there. So we, um, yeah, that was, I learned a lot there. You know, I, of course, I want something, if I do something, I want something much bigger. Mm -hmm. So, but I learned a lot of different things on there. Cool. So that was Scorpion. Uh, there are a couple other uh, projects you did. Uh, there was um, Muerta de Inno Innocencia, uh, which was weird. That that kind of looks like nightmare fuel. The uh, the video on uh, on Vimeo. That now that's just a trailer or a clip from it. Yeah. And what's that one about? That's just you, right? It's like a one man show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I played uh, one man that's left on a planet. He's by himself. He's in a robe just as that robe and he has certain rituals that he does they're kind of a little gruesome but it means something of the way of life uh abraham marquez wrote and directed it and it's the rejuvenation of life and it's something that it's, it's personal that's happened with him that he put into this movie okay. so i'm the last man left on this planet now how do you sell you on that did he have uh, like a script that he showed you or um you know what attracted you to that one well we went we met at the Triangle Film Group, uh -huh. and he came up to me and he says, Spencer, and I gets really excited. I got, a, I got an idea for a movie, and I want you to be in it. So I go in, we go into his apartment. Now, instead of just showing me on computer, he has all these sketches along his wall and you go in his bedroom. So you're you looking at him. He says, this is what it is, and this is what happens, and he's, he's got it all sketched out. Uh -huh. And I thought I was, it was impressed. I thought it was weird. I go, hey, you know, an actor does whatever he's asked. So I was offered the part, and they said, yeah, I'll go for it. And it looked like fun. Okay. And that one's not out yet? He's still editing that? Yeah, I haven't, I haven't hooked up with him. I'd still like to know what's going on with that. I, we, went, we, did, we filmed it in back of his apartment complex in Durham in the heat. So I, <laughs> I went, went through a lot with that. Oh, is that like a middle of the summer thing? Yeah. Oh, man, that must have been brutal. Yeah, it was. Drank a lot of water. But, you know, we, we did it. Okay. And uh, there was another one uh, you had mentioned, East... Um... East, Witches of East End. Witches of East End. Yeah. So tell me about that one. Well, that we did actually. I big. I worked as an extra on there, okay. and this was filmed in Wilmington, and actually it was great because I was still trying to plan all this, and we the did a bigger project. Yeah. What kind of what, is this for? Like TV or a movie? Yeah, it was. It was on TV. Oh. It was the pilot. They were trying to sell it as a series, like I'm trying to do. So it was. Um, we went uh, down to Wilmington, and then. Um, we, I went down there and I, they wanted a gangster. So I actually showed up like this. Now I went In your street room. clothes, you dress like this all the time. Well, yeah, different types, but this is a, yeah, my actual, I dressed up in this. I showed up at wardrobe. They put you through wardrobe all the time and they always want to change you. And I walked to wardrobe and they were like, perfect, Spencer, perfect. You know, like, so they loved my outfit. So they put me right, we were in a speakeasy. Yeah, so I needed to, yeah, that gave you, that was help, that was a big help to me. Uh -huh. So they put me right in the front with uh, a flapper. You, you knew what they, what they were looking for when you showed up? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. 
So man, that's serendipity. You already happen to have all the clothes. Yeah. <laughs> no, they. I was. A, they were. The directors were come over taking pictures with me. Oh wow. That's cool. And so that one, that was a pilot that was on TV that came out already? Yeah. Is there anywhere that we can see that or? Uh, just have a look. I, I didn't see it. So you can try YouTube. I'm, sh you know. Uh... But that's pretty cool. That sounds like a neat project. Yeah, it was. It was a lot of fun. And again, that's another high end one. I bet you learn a lot of stuff, you know, that helps you when you're trying to set up your own project. Well, I was excited about it because it was in a speakeasy, uh -huh. which is going to be in my film, a speakeasy, okay. you know, where we go, where I go, I die and I go into a speakeasy. So. It was a lot big help. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about this. Um, so you came up with this one with Don uh, after meeting him on Scorpion. So how, how's that project start? How do you collaborate with someone uh, on an idea? Did you have it? Did you guys come up with it together? Well, I, you know, when you're an actor, you think about, boy, if I could do a film, I would do this, this, and that. And I've been thinking about this back of my mind. They didn't even talk about it with my wife, because she always thinks I'm crazy anyway. But, uh, you know, I did talk, yeah, she does. Um, so so I, I was just sitting there talking, you know, thinking of myself, and then I played with Don Sill, who's a good actor, he's here in Raleigh. We played in Scorpion, we played in Outside of Darkness, which is uh, directed by Sean Pollock. We played in, an, oh, another one we played in called Super Femmes. I've seen that one, those guys were actually out in California, they won a, um, uh, uh, the LA Web Series Festival, they won an award for like cinematography. Yeah. So that's, that's a pretty Films. big one, yeah. yeah Dino, uh, he, um, I played, um, I'll have to show you, uh, you, you, the clip is on uh, YouTube. A couple but episodes are on there, yeah. I played, just uh, look up Super Femmes. I played Harry Chess Charlie. Next. What are you doing? You can't look away, can you? You want me. Yeah, right. Harry Chess Charlie, yes, okay. And, and the all I wore was a G-string and a hat and a, yeah, so. It's a little different from your, uh, from your normal getup. Yes, <laughs> and, and Don was in there too. Okay. He had a part in there, it was all, you didn't see him, you, he was in a costume. Okay. So, you look like Darth Vader. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a Gonzo series too. So you guys have worked together a couple times. And you got this idea, and so you decide that Don's the one you want to do it with. Well, well, Don and I spoke to each other on the, you know, on Facebook. We talked to each other, and I said, I really like working with you. He said, I like working with you too. I said, I, I like to work with more with you, and I, I have an idea that we can pull together. So, what have you got here? You've got some, um, uh, some props, some yeah. promotional stuff. Okay, we've done an outline. All right. Of. This is an old outline. Some of the characters have been changed around. 